so we are flying our progress flag here, which a progress flag is more of our community engulfed into one flag, right? It's your trans flag and your Black Lives Matter and then all of your pride flag colors. This is our third time being targeted here. Our first time our flag was stolen, which prompted my husband and I to put up a ring camera and a doorbell. And the second time we were targeted, someone threw a black substance over, our, over the camera. They didn't steal the flag, but it seems like there was something going on there. And then now the third time the camera was covered and our progress flag was burned while it was still hanging on our house. There are people out there who don't want us here, right? They don't want us living our proud lives, you know, our queer lives as married men um, in this community. And so that's, that's hard to take in. John Michael and I have been married for six years. Um, we've been together for 11 years and we've been living in Boise for 14 years. We did not file a report for the first two, but the burning feels like it is escalating. It feels more hateful, it feels more driven. So we called the police. Um, the Boise police has an LGBTQ plus liaison. Officer Dan Lister arrived within minutes. Um, and started asking questions, started to gather the information needed. They took the flag, um, forensics, they're running investigation on the flag. This is and uh, continues to be an open investigation. The police are treating it as arson and we cannot call it a hate crime because um, gay people in the state of Idaho are not protected under the Idaho constitution under hate crimes, but they are treating it as harassment. Our ask to the community is put up your progress flag right like one flag burns a thousand more go up so the community has been so supportive people are swinging by and checking in on us bringing us more progress flags we've got a stack of them um, which has been really really kind so that is that's what's happening uh, here in our neighborhood